First, a step forward in the fight against air pollution. The EPA is out with stricter soot regulations. Mamie Ba is looking into what it means for companies like U.S. Steel and its Clareton plant. Mamie. It means mills like the one behind me will need to cut their soot emissions. Clean air advocates say it's been a long time coming. They say thousands of lives will be saved. But those who live in this community say the damage has already been done. Heavy smoke filling the sky. Oftentimes, it's unclear what exactly it is. But for environmental activists, it can only mean one thing, pollution unsafe levels of fine particulate or soot pollution. Wednesday, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency finalized an updated standard that reduces allowable soot pollution from 12 micrograms per cubic meter to 9 micrograms per cubic meter. Soot refers to particulate matter that typically comes from power plants and other forms of heavy industry, like Clareton Mill Works United States Steel Corporation, which has been subject to lawsuits and fines. These new standards from the Biden administration are a tremendous win, especially for people in places like Clareton, where facilities like U.S. Steel's Clareton Coke Works churn out massive levels of soot pollution. However, Ronald Berry, a resident and the owner of Sportsman's Bar and Grill, only 700 feet from the mill, isn't hopeful. I think they're just saying something to pacify the people here. I don't think they're going to do nothing in the long run. The mill is what run this town. KDKA reached out to United States Steel. I'm told they are reviewing the new rule to better understand the potential implications at facilities in the Mon Valley and beyond. A spokesperson wrote in part, the EPA determined less than five years ago that the existing standard for PM 2.5 was sufficient and protective of human health and the environment. And this rule contradicts those findings. We are committed to working with EPA to ensure that this rule balances the environmental and industrial needs of the region and considers all sources of PM 2.5. Reporting live in Clareton, Mamie Ba, KDKA TV News.